All right, this week we are starting and ending with a pet theme with a little bike safety sprinkled in for good measure. Here's this week's Feedback Friday. Perhaps the topic of the week for people across the tri-state, this petition from a man in Mississippi asking for the food stamp program to pay for pet food. People in today's society need to differentiate between wants and needs. If you are needy enough to need food stamps, you don't need a dog. Hi, it's Deb. I think that people, if they can't afford dog food, shouldn't have a dog. I am against having dog food and cat food paid for by food stamps. Absolutely not. The system is already abused. They sell them for drugs. They sell them for other physical satisfaction. However, others think the idea is long overdue. I think it would be a great idea to have some kind of food stamps for animals. Myself, I have been in that situation before, and yes, I would feed my animals before I would me. Yes, I feel that people should be able to use the right to use your uh, food stamps for dog food. And when I hosted a Facebook Live this week regarding this very issue, there was no holding back with comments. And then there was Brandon Gray, who suggested people buy fresh ingredients that both people and pets can eat and make fresh meals that both pet and owner can enjoy together. A bill being discussed in Kentucky to require bike helmets for those 12 and under received a few calls. Really, they should have them even older, but I agree with the 12. Uh, no, the bike helmet didn't have them in the 70s and 80s and before that also. The bike helmet in Kentucky and Ohio and anywhere else is an intrusion upon the constitutional rights of we, the people. And that wasn't the only legislative issue creating a rumble. Another bill would create massive new districts swallowing up independent school systems in the Commonwealth. Kentucky should not consolidate schools, leave them as is. I do not think that taking small school districts and making them into huge districts is a benefit for communities. Children, democracy, we have local control. The governor needs to go to work and find new revenue. I just uh, think the school system should stay as it is, and the uh, taxpayers should have a lot of say in this instead of the bureaucrats in, in Frankfurt. I do not think that they should be consolidated. I think it needs to stay on the local level. Thanks for the call, Rebecca. Sounds like your dog agrees. If you have an opinion about a story you see on 9 on your side, call the Feedback Friday hotline, always at 513-852-4998.